Hi everyone, welcome to lesson seven. Today is going to be a much more technically focused class, which means we are going to have shorter and even potentially simpler combinations, but we are going to focus a lot more on execution. So let's get straight into our plies. You're going to recognize this combination if you have been following the Absolute Beginner series before. Let's get started in first position. We're doing two demis and one grand. So demi and straight and demi and straight. Demi all the way down, demi and straight. Straight to second position, same thing. Demi and up, demi and up, demi, grand, demi and straight. Fifth position, right foot front first, demi and straight, demi and straight, demi, grand, demi and straight. We'll come back to first position to stretch right arm first. One, two, back, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we'll do four plie releves. Plie and up, plie and up, plie and up. Last one, plie and up. Staying in first position, balance here for around 16 counts, and then we'll lower We'll put our arms down. So before we get started with this exercise, let me talk a little bit more about plies, and I'm gonna to have to come to the front of the bar to give you the technical details of this exercise. In an earlier lesson in the beginner series, we talked about turnout really being your thighs rotating. That is what turnout is in its most fundamental form. So let's begin with some reminders. We talked about pulling up the quad muscles and pulling up your kneecaps to keep them safe. Your inner thighs specifically are trying to push against each other, but also forward. So they're doing this type of force, right? And when you're standing in first position, you almost want to imagine that you're trying to hold a piece of paper between your thighs. And of course, everyone's body is very, very different. Some people's thighs will just never touch, no matter how much they think about pushing their thighs against each other and forward, it's just never gonna happen. I was one of those people who really could not get my thighs to do that because I just did not have the strength for it at the beginning. But now, as you can see, my thighs touch each other in first position. So it really depends. Um, the thighs touching is a good visual cue, but not everyone will look like that if they are engaging their thighs. So I hope that makes sense. Start off in first position, thighs pushing against each other and pushing forward and quads pulling up, squeezing a piece of paper between your thighs. And then when you plie, your knees are over your toes, they're making a really large diamond. And as you strain, I want you to think about your thighs trying to push against each other again. And that is what is initiating your knees straightening forward. And then when you come up, I want you to make sure that your knees are 100% straight. In ballet, when we say the word straight legs, it is like 100% straight, not 99% straight. Even that 1% makes you look a little bent. So when you come up, I want you to make sure you are 100% straining your knees. Most people, instead of being 100% straight, when they come up, they're going to be somewhere like this, where their knees are a little bit soft. To like an untrained eye, this looks straight. But in ballet, when we say straight, we mean like the straightest it can possibly be and you cannot strain anymore. So that's a detail I want you to focus on when you come up from your demi plies and all the positions. I want you to see if you can straighten your legs all the way and still be able to feel your thighs pushing together and around. All right, let's get started with our plies. Six and seven, eight plie and straight, knee side, and straight. Rond, all the way down, press through demi. Same thing in second position. Demi, and straight, knee side. Keep your abs engaged as you go down to grand. Let's go straight to fifth. side on the demi, grand, demi, and straight. Let's stretch to the side, roll back, 
other way. Stretch, roll back. Now get ready for plie, releves. Plie, releve, plie, releve. Two more. Last one, and up, stay here. Arms in first, stable ankles. Abs is pulled in and up, open and lower. Before we do plies on the other side, I want to talk about the four elevés at the very end, and I want to specifically speak to where you should be putting your body weight. So I'll show you from the side angle. When you come up and you're in half toe, make sure that you are thinking about putting your weight onto your second toe. Not your first toe, not your third toe, your second toe. So let's talk about why we want the weight in our second toe. This is a little bit of aesthetics and a little bit of safety. So ballet is all about lines. It is mainly all about straight lines or circular lines. That probably doesn't make sense because lines by nature are not circular, but we'll talk about that another time. <laughs> um, but ballet, you should just think of it as like an art form that is obsessed with body lines. And when your weight is on your second toe, you're making a straight line from your knee, your ankle to your second toe. This is one straight line. But when your weight is on your first toe, you tend to lean this direction and then you're no longer making a straight line. And same thing, when you're back on your baby toes, you're no longer making a straight line. So aesthetically, the second toe just gives you a nicer line for ballet. And for safety reasons, when you are balancing, you want to be straight up and down. <laughs> it is not very safe to balance on kind of a bent line of your leg or foot like this. So when you're back in your um, little toes, this is considered sickling, and this is extremely, extremely dangerous. Your ankle is not meant to really hold weight like this, and if you are a person that tends to go and elevate and sickle or put all your weight in your baby toes, you are at a higher risk of injuring yourself or having an ankle injury. The reason why you don't wanna put weight on your big toe is because that's how people develop or worsen their bunions. I was born with small bunions and when I first started ballet, I put a lot of weight, like a lot of weight onto my first toe. And I was rolling forward like this. And that's how my bunions got worse. And it got worse specifically on my right foot. So bunions are something that you can't really undo without a surgical procedure. I hope that doesn't scare anybody. Anyways, this is a long winded way of saying that when you're up and elevate, make sure that you are directing your weight towards the middle of the ball of your foot or where your second toe is. All right, let's move on. Six and a seven and eight. Demi and straight. Demi all the way straight here. And grand, press through demi. Same thing in second. Heels on the ground for the grand. Demi and straight. Demi plie and straight. Now you can go heels off the ground for grand fifth. Seven and eight. Go back to first position. Let's stretch to the side. Roll back. Remember, keep your knees straight here might be very tempting to bend them along with your bends. Now for plie releves. Plie, releve, plie, releve. Last one. Stay up. Remember what we talked about, the weight in the second toe right here. Keep your ankles stable and as quiet as possible. You can do this. And open, lower down. Great job! So today we are going to be doing a very slow tendus. And that's because we are trying to learn how to 
initiate a tendu and what it looks like. A lot of us understand tendus as just a simple way to just stretch our foot, right? And it is, but let's talk about all the little in-betweens to get to the final stretch at the end. So when you tendu front, you want to initiate with your heel. So my heel is still on the ground, actually, as I'm doing this. Here, I'll turn around. So my heel is actually still on the ground. And then I tendu front, and then I come back to this kind of like fourth position with my heel on the ground, and then I pull my leg back in. So that's what's happening, okay? So we're doing a little fourth position, full point, a little fourth position to come back to first. And in second position, you're doing a similar thing, but not fourth position. You're doing a small second position, but your weight is still all on your standing leg. A small second position, and then the full point. And you're getting to your small second position to squeeze back into first. When you're doing your tendu back, you are doing a little fourth position, and then you're doing a full point, and your little baby fourth position to come back to first position. So let's get started. Five, six, seven, eight, and a one, two, mini fourth and first. Again, mini fourth, full point, mini fourth, to first, to the side, small second, full point, small second, drag it in. Again, small second, full point, small second position, drag it in to the back, small fourth. So remember from first position, when I do that small fourth back, I'm crossing, right? And my heel is still on the ground and it's a very, very small fourth. I'm doing the full point, coming back to fourth, to first, again, small fourth, full point, small fourth, and first. So we just did two tendus, front side, back. After that, we'll do our plie, force arch. Remember, weight on the second toe here. Come up and down, reverse, force arch, plie, and strain. Other leg, one and two, small fourth, to first, again, small fourth, full point, small fourth, to first, to the side, the second position, full point, second position, drag it in, second position, full point, second position, drag it in, same thing back, and then our same ending with the plie, force arch, up, and down, reverse, up, force arch, weight on the second toe, down, and strain, and then we'll run on music, so we'll just put our arms down after that. Two tendus, front side back, plie, force arch, reversing that, other side. Let's get started. Seven and eight, small fourth to the front, full point, small fourth, drag it in again. You have to cross your foot slightly as you get to the fourth. And then you uncross to first. Now to the side, second position, point, small second, drag it in, small second, point, drag it and cross to the back, full point, fourth position, drag it in, cross to fourth, point, fourth, now uncross to first, plie, force, arch, all the way up, slowly lower down, reverse, remember weight on the second toe, demi plie, and straight, left leg, fourth, full point, fourth, drag it in, point, fourth, drag it in, to the side, full point, Keep contact with the ground the whole time. Point, second, drag it in to the back. Keep your hips squared here, it's gonna be really hard. Hips facing forward, fourth, and then first. Plie, stretch your feet, up, 
lower. Up. Then we plie and down. Good job, everyone. So before we move on to the next tendu exercise, I just want to say that that initiation that we just learned with the going through fourth position for the front and back, and then going to that mini second position for the side tendu. So that's like in an ideal world, you would be going through those positions. Sometimes things are happening so fast that your mini fourth and your mini seconds are so small that they look like they don't exist. So for example, sometimes your mini second is going to be right here. They're not going to be here probably most likely gonna be here. And then the full point, then your mini second, and then first position. So it's not as dramatic as what I demonstrated. We're learning what like the dramatized version of it so that we can kind of get the understanding, but I just wanted to put it out there that when you are doing your tendus and especially when they are happening fast, your mini force and your mini seconds are gonna be puny, 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 puny. So now we're gonna get another chance to practice that mini second position and the squeezing together of the thighs that we're talking about. We are going to do our 8844s, 2211. So let's get started in five, six, seven, eight. And first, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Switch, one, two, three, four. Switch, one, two, three, four. Switch, one, two, one, two. Then duck, duck, walk, walk. And then we're just gonna come up, balance in first position, and I wanna give you a little balance challenge. So see if you can look to the right in your own time, and then center, look to the left, and then center, down, center, and look up, center. So when you're doing that and testing your balance, make sure your nose is going to those directions and not just your eyeballs, because that's sometimes what happens. We get so stiff that we can't really move our head. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Six and seven and in, two, three, four. Try your best to go through the mini seconds. I know it's gonna be really tough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch, four, three, two, one, switch. And two, switch, two, and duck, duck, walk, walk, up. Getting ready for your balance challenge. Take it at your own pace. Whenever you're ready, look right with your nose. And then center to the left, and center and down. And then center and up. Great job, everyone. So now we are moving on to Tondu's fifth position, still keeping two hands at the bar. Let's get started. Five, six, seven, eight. Plie, Tondu, and hold. Fifth, and hold. Front, close, fifth. Front, close, fifth. To the side, and hold. Close, back, and hold. Side, close, fifth, front, side, Close with back. Plie and hold. Fifth and hold. Tendu close. Fifth. Tendu close. Fifth. En croix. Plie and hold. Squeeze and hold. Tendu. Fifth. And tendu. Fifth. So now we're going to move on to the second set with plie and susu and plie straighten. Two tendu still. Front, close, fifth, to the side, susu, back, plie, and strain, still, two tendus. After that, 
to the back and up and fifth and straighten. Ton do back, ton do back. Still on qua, plie, susu, plie and straighten. Ton do, close and ton do and close. Let's just get straight into it. And seven and eight, plie front, hold. Hold, tendu, close, fifth, front, close, fifth, to the side, hold, close back, two tendus, closing fifth, plie, hold it to the back, in and hold, back, close, fifth, tendu, back, close, fifth, en croix, hold, switch, hold, tendu, close, back, Tendu, close, front. Plie, susu, plie and straight. Two, tendu, still, to the side. Plie, susu, plie and straight. Close, front, tendu, close, back. Plie, back, susu, plie and straight. Two, tendus, make sure they're crossed to the back. Plie to the side. Tondu and close. Tondu and close. That was it. Let's talk about that susu position that we're balancing in fit. There's no real balance opportunity here because you're not holding the susu for too long, but the goal of this is for you to get in the susu position quickly and just feel familiar and happy with it. So earlier we talked about when you're up in half point, your weight is on your second toe. And the same thing applies even in fifth position. And the second thing that I want you all to keep in mind is that your susu position is closed. So let's talk about what closed means. This means that there's no space between your feet when you're in susu. A lot of people are gonna have a little bit of space or light through their feet. You want to have zero space and from the front you want to look like you just have one ankle all right a lot of things to keep in mind let's go on to the second side now same thing but with left leg in front and seven and eight plie hold tight fifth hold tendu hold fifth tendu hold fifth to the side hold tight fifth back Two tendus here, really point the foot to the back. Make sure it's behind you. Close. And tendu and close. Tendu squeeze to fifth. En qua. Close. Two tendus, back, tendu, front. Plie tight, susu. Plie and straighten. Brush the ground. To the side, tight susu. Almost there, you can do it. To the back, susu. Tondu, close, tondu, close. Last time, plie, tondu, close, back, tondu, close, front. Yay, we're done. So now we are moving back to having just one hand at the bar. I am gonna try to go through this combination a little faster because I know I've talked a lot already in this lesson. Let's start in fifth position. Five, six, seven, eight. Jet take close, front. Jet take close, front. Side, change, side, close. Jet take peak, gay close. Jet take peak, gay close. Back, pique, close, reverse this whole thing. Back, close, and back, close. Two, to the side, and side, close. Now all around, jete, pique, close, jete, pique, close, jete, pique, close. That's it, arms down. So the pattern of this exercise is you're doing slow jetes in a 
semi-circle pattern, all right? So you have jete in, close, jete in, close, jete close back, jete close front. Now you have one all around, starting from the front. Jete pique, close, jete prick, close, jete pique, close, reverse this whole thing. You start the semi-circle back side. Jete close, jete close, Jete close front, jete close back. Then one all around, starting from the back. Jete pique close, jete pique close, jete pique close. That's it. All right, let's just get straight into it. This is gonna go by pretty fast, so get ready. And seven and eight. Jete close, jete close, side close back. Side close front, jete pique close, side pique close, back pique close, reverse this whole thing. Jete close, jete close, side close front, side close back, back pique close, side pique close, front pique close, you're done. If you are, you know, getting the legs and everything's good, see if you can throw in the head positions also that we talked about in the last lesson. So if we were to do that to jete pique close, it would be head inclined, jete pique close, head forward, jete pique close, looking kind of at your hand and listening to something down there, jete pique close, hold, hold, and that when you hold, you can just look straight. And then when you reverse this whole thing, you do your four slower jetes, and then you do that fast part starting from the back, Jete pique close, jete pique close, jete pique close, arms down, look at your hand, and then back, looking up in kind of a diagonal fashion. All right, that's just an extra challenge if you wanna add it in. Let's go on to the next side. Left side, trying this out with head positions. Let's get into it. Seven and eight, two to the front, Two to the side, look straight for the sides, front, side, back, reverse this whole thing, look under the hand, look straight here, back, side, front, arms down. Now we're moving on to Rana Jams. I am going to be demonstrating on my left side, so you are gonna to have to transpose it in your mind to figure out what it looks like on the right side, okay? Let's get started in fifth position, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna start with four en cloche. So it looks like tendu front, tendu back, tendu front, tendu back. And then four Rana Jams. Front, and front, and front, close back. Stretch forward for one, and two. Come up three, and four. Stretch back, and six, and seven, and eight. Reversing this combination, on cloche. Tendu back, and front, and back, and front. Now three rana jams, back, and back, and back, and close to the bar, and two, and three, and four, away, stretch, go through first, and open. And that's the end of our combination. There's a new movement that's introduced in this exercise. It's called en cloche. That's the first four counts of this combination. It was cloche and cloche, and cloche, and cloche. En cloche means like a bell, but I'm not really sure why. But essentially, it is when you do this front stretch, and you do the back and front, it's like this motion, almost like a pendulum. So that's what you're doing, but of course your foot is not gonna be flexed. Um, usually it's done off the ground, so kind of jeté or dégagé style. So what's tricky about the en cloche is going through first position with a straight leg. So, tendu front, you have to bring it back to first with a straight leg. Don't bend your leg like this. Straighten it, 
Tendu back. And you have to come back straight and through and through and pass through. And another thing to pay attention to is to see if your first position is even when you're going through. And you'll notice that most of the time it's not going to be, um, but that's okay. We're gonna work towards evenness eventually. Six and seven and eight. Four cloches. Front and back. Front, back. Three rana jambes. This is two. Third one, close back. Let's stretch. Forward. Up. Reverse. Four cloches. Back and front and back. Hold front. Three rond de jambes and back. Third one, close fifth to the bar. Away. Make sure your abs are engaged and your knees are straight, even in the stretches. Great job. So the reason why I decided to combine the enclosh with a Ranajam combination today is um, because you're essentially doing that pass through movement when you're doing the, your rana jams. So you have, say we're gonna do three. Rana jam, and then you have to pass through, and with your feet in first position, rana jam, go through first position, rana jam. And I want you to check in with yourself, not just with the cloches, um, to see if your first position is even, but even on the rana jams. Six and uh, seven and eight. Front, go through first, heels down on first, heels down, three rana jambes. Front, go through first, close, stretch. Come up three and four, stretch back, and up and open. Clash back and front, and back, go through first, back, and back. Last one. Knees straight here. Away from the bar. Arms through first, and open. Great job, everyone. All right, everyone, now we are going to be doing develop haze. It feels like it's been quite a while since we've actually last done it in our lesson. Let's get started. Five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna coordinate the arms. One, two, three. You can try to balance or do this if you want. Four, five, extend six, ta, do, close. It's gonna be a lot slower than how I'm counting it. To the side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To the back. Two, three, four. Attitude, extend, point, and close. Circular portable ball for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reversing this whole thing. One and two. You can test your balance. Extend to the back. Point and close. One and two, hold three, four. Attitude, extend, point and close. Same thing, front, two, three, four. Attitude, extend, point, close. We'll reverse our circular proto bra, going away from the bar to the bar, all the way down, coming back up. That's it. We're starting our develop haze with a wrap. Wrap, passe, hold, extend to the front, point and close. Wrap for the side, passe, extend, point and close to the back. Use the head here. 
Make sure your standing foot, all the toes are planted on the ground. Stretch. Squeeze your legs together and make sure they don't move too much as you stretch. Reverse. Coupe back. Passe. Balance. Make sure your standing leg is straight. Coupe back. Focus on the standing leg. Grow really tall as you extend your working leg. To the front. Passe. Knee side here. Extend to the front. Point. Close. Reverse your stretch. All the way down and up. Let's talk about the circular proto bras before we move on. So well, let's say that you just did all your developes, which means this foot should be back, and you're gonna do your circular proto bra front, side, back. A nice thing to do is elange, breathe, and then exhale, down, and then to the bar, make sure that this is a nice high fifth. Sometimes we tend to shorten it and it gets really close to the head. So make sure it's a nice high fifth, just like it would be if you were standing straight up and down. Nice high fifth, nice high fifth back here, roll. And if you were to reverse that port bra a stylistic thing that I really love seeing is going to first and then going away from the bar and all the way down. So this is not mandatory, but this is a nice stylistic thing to go in and then go out. All right, so let's try to do that in the next side. Don't forget to use the heads here with your developes. Wrap, passe, knee, side. Focus on the standing leg to the side. Passe, abs in, lengthen your waist, Point, close, back. Coupe it back. Passe. Attitude to extend. Stretch. Reverse. Wrap. Abs pulled in and up. See what it feels like to lightly just touch the bar or let go as you extend. To the front. Wrap, passe. Get taller, extend your waist. In to go out, all the way around. Up, that's it. Great job, everyone. We are almost done with the bar. We are going to combine our frappes and our grand batmas right now. Let's start in fifth position. Five, six, tondi seven, flex eight, and a strike, and in, and a strike, and in to the side, and in, and a side, and in to the back, and in, and the back, and in. You guessed it. It's on qua, then close. Then we'll do Batma and close and a hold, hold and a side, close and a hold, hold and a back, close and a hold, hold full tendu, flex to reverse and a back and a in and a back and a in and a side, and a side, to the front, to the front, and a side, and a side, and close and a batma and close and a hold. Hold and a side and a close and a hold. Hold and a front and a close and a hold. Hold, keep the arms up, plie. Susu, balance. No music at this point. You'll take your own balance in high fifth. And then we'll open and we'll come down. All right, let's get straight into it. This is also gonna go by fast, so get ready. Side, flex to front. To side flex front, side flex back, frappe, side, side close front, grand ma, to the side, 
front. Tondi side, flex back, reverse. Side flex back, side flex front. Side, side and close back. Side. Brush the ground. Plie, su su. That's it. Take your own balance and your own time here. Come down when you're ready. Good job. So before we move on to the next side, let's talk a little bit more about how to transition from frappes to batmas and then from batmas back again to frappes. So we are going to do our two frappes en croix, right? So front and front and side and side and back and back and side and side close to fifth. You have to close to fifth and the arm comes down and then up and close, side and close, back and close, tondu, arm side, and then start again, flex. So the transition might be a little bit tricky, but there's time allocated to tondu and flex to the back, and then same thing. All right, let's get straight into it. Tondu and flex. Side, and back, and back, side, side, close front, front, brush the ground. Just use your feet for the ground batmas. Tondu, flex, reverse, to side, to front, to side, brush the ground. Look forward, look past the elbow, plie, su su, and take your own balance. You can let go whenever you're ready or you can hold on if that makes you more comfortable. Whatever works for you. All right, we are going to do a little hip stretch before um, we move on to the next exercise. So we're gonna start off in second position and you can do a larger second position than what you're used to. And we're gonna do two grand plies in four counts. So five, six, seven, eight, and a one, two, and a three, four, again, five, six, seven, eight, really slow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll rotate so that we have our left hand at the bar and we're parallel at this point. And then we'll stretch forward for two and three and four. Reverse, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll twist. One, two, three, four, five, six. Switch to the other side. Again, four, two, three, here, back, two, three, four, and a twist for six counts. La la la, let's pretend like I just did six counts, and then we'll come back, seven and eight, and a up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a hold, two, three, four, up, six, seven, and eight. The music for this is really slow, so I'm actually just gonna call everything out in real time. You don't actually need to remember this. Let's just get started. We'll tendu to second, to grand plies, and up. Second one. Now one and eight counts. One, two, three, four, start coming up, six, seven, and eight. Stretch forward, and back. We'll twist for six, two, three, four, five, 
six, you have two counts to get to the other side. Let's stretch forward. Make sure your knees are straight here. Nose to knee if you can. And back. Only the upper back. We'll twist for six. Five and six. We'll come to first position. Get ready for the faster elevates. Up and up. Up. Five and six and seven. Last one, hold. Elbows up, shoulders down as you raise your arms up slowly into high fifth. Keep the shoulders down and abs in. Good job, everyone. We are going to be focused on turns and specifically pirouettes today. I hope some of you are excited. Um, I know it can be a little bit scary to turn on one foot because, you know, there's just a higher chance of falling. But we're going to try to uh, make sure that we're taking all of this in very small progressive steps so that we can eventually do a full turn and be safe about it. So we are going to get started with our pirouette prep at the bar. We're going to start in first position with the right foot back. Five, six, seven, and eight. Tendu back. Plie. Passe front. Close back again. Back. Plie fourth. Up. Close back. Last time. Tendu. Plie fourth and up and hold. You have eight counts here. You can put one hand up if you're comfortable. Five, six, seven. Instead of closing back, we're going to close front. You can close front with a plie or any way you want. So what I mean by that is you can just do this and come down or you can do passe and then a plie to start the other side. It's your choice at this point because this is not the focus of the exercise. The focus of the exercise is that plie from fourth and that push, okay? So now we have the left foot back. Same thing, tendu, plie, passe front of the knee, but then close back in fifth. That's the tricky part. Tendu, plie fourth, front of the knee, close back in fifth. Last time, tendu, plie fourth, push, and hold, let go if you're comfortable. And then we'll hold that for eight and then we'll come down with our left foot front. And then one more thing that I want to add is that I want you to make sure that your fourth position is not too wide. So if my right foot is back and I tendu back, if I just set it down, it's gonna be really, really wide. What I wanna do is actually bring it in just under me a little bit and then plie from there, all right? So when you turn your back, bring your foot in a little bit so you have a smaller fourth. We're gonna do a smaller fourth. There are some pirouette um, preparations where the fourth is really big, like we're talking here. Um, but that's not what we're doing right now. Make sure your fourth is around one and a quarter or one and a half distance of your foot. All right, that's all I'm gonna say for now. Let's try this out. Starting with right foot back, fifth position. And seven and eight. Tendu back, plie fourth, passe front, close back again. Plie, passe front. Last one to balance. Passe front, pull up. Other leg. Plie, close back, left leg tendu, plie, left leg passe, close back. Last one. Knee side here, both knee sides. Close front. Good job. Welcome to center everyone. We are gonna get straight into our tendus. So we are going to be using our angles for this exercise. I know we haven't been really able to utilize them for a while, but 
today's the day. So let's get started in fifth position, right foot front facing angle one. So I'm facing like the left corner of the room. Hands on hips, five, six, seven, eight, and a tondu, and close. Tondu, and close. Third tondu, and close, and hold, and hold. Side, close back. Side, close front. Side, close back, and hold and hold and a back close fifth and a back close fifth and a back close fifth hold and hold face front for two grand plie open now facing corner number three same thing hands on hips three tendus each direction front and a close and a front and a close front close hold hold to the side and a side last side and a hold hold to the back and a back and a back and a hold 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 grand plie hold hold close and we'll close with our normal ballet like arms so let's talk about one thing that's going to help you with this exercise i want you to think about where your body weight is so we start off the exercise with equal weight, 50-50, and you're going to try to keep your body weight on the ball of your foot. When you tendu front, your back leg or your standing leg supports 100% of your weight. This leg has no weight on it. It's very, very light. And for this back leg, try to put more weight on the ball of your foot. All right, let's get into it. Seven, eight, tendu, close, tendu, close, tendu, close, and hold to the side. Last one, hold to the back. Close fifth, close fifth, and hold, grand plie. Push, close fifth, other side. The weight on the ball of your feet. Squeeze to fifth, squeeze to fifth, tight fifth to the back, remember directly behind you, even when you're crossed. Side, use your feet to push out of grand plie. That's it. We're gonna do this exercise again, but starting from the left side, I wanna talk a little bit about the grand pliés and how you switch your angling. So we're gonna start in corner or angle number three. We're gonna do our three tendus and hold, three tendus and hold, three tendus back and hold. For our grand plie, we're gonna be facing straight on. So angle number two, do your grand plie, come up, tendu the left leg, and then when you close, you're gonna be facing corner one on the close. So you switch angles on the close, okay? Um, that's just a little bit of detail that I wanted to throw in. Let's get straight into the left side, starting with left foot front, fifth position, seven, eight, close. Close fifth, tight fifth and hold. Side, brush the ground. Feel your toes very long as you brush. Don't crunch your toes against the ground here. Face forward, stretch your hips, knee side, and close. Massage the ground with your foot. Push and push and push, face forward, grand plie, push, and close. Maybe you all know by now, whenever my Marley floor comes out, it is time for turns. Let's just get started with what the combination is. So we'll start in fifth position, right leg back, five, six, seven, eight, tendu, so this is my right arm, right leg, tendu, Plie, and up, close, back. Tendu, plie, half turn, close, back. So we're doing one up, one half. Tendu, plie, one up, close, back. Tendu, plie, one up, and then we'll close back, and we'll just end there. So everything on the right side is gonna close back. I know at the bar we did some leg switching, but to just simplify things, we're gonna do one up, 
one half turn, one up, one half turn, stop the music, other side. So that's the right side. I'm gonna skip a lot of technical details um, right now because I think what I really want us to work on together is the fear of turning slash falling. Um, so I can tell you, you know, you gotta turn out, you gotta pull up, you gotta straighten your knees, you gotta engage your abs, shoulders down, all these things um, to get the pirouette. But you can technically do none of those things and still like get around in the circle, right? <laughs> um, and I just want you to get used to that kind of motion of just what is it like to like rotate. And then after you get familiar with what it's like to twirl or turn or whatever is when we can start talking about how do we do this correctly. Right now we're at the phase of how do we do this? How do we do it without feeling really afraid and you know hunching over and like getting really tense about it? So that's why I'm gonna skip a lot of things right now. We're just doing one up, one half, one up, one half. Let's get started on the right side. This is gonna go by pretty quickly. Let's start with our right leg back in fifth position. And eight, tendu back, plie fourth, passe front, close back. Right leg tendus, plie, half turn. Right leg tendu, plie, right leg passe. Up, close back, half turn, close back. Good job, everyone. All right, so now we're gonna do the left side. Let's mark it together. Left foot back. Five, six, seven, eight. Tendu, plie, and up, and close. Tendu, 50-50 weight, half turn, and close. Tendu, plie, just up, and turn. Tendu, get ready for the half, plie, half, and close back. So it is left arm, left leg. All right, and passe front the whole entire time. Let's just get straight into it. Left foot back in fifth position. Tonduing with the left foot. Seven and eight. Tondu, plie, and just balance. Close back. And even though you're turning, it really is just a balance for the half turns. Close back, left leg tendus, plie, up, tendu, plie, up, close back. Let's move on to our last combination now, reverence. Let's start with our right foot back in B plus. We're gonna start with two slow walks. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, walk five, walk six, walk seven, walk eight. I'm just walking in a circle or around myself. You can walk in whatever direction you have space to walk in. We have four to walks. Balance, balance, tombe pare bure. This is four. Tondi back five, bow six, come up seven, Close eight. Again, one and two, three and four. Four walks, five, six, seven, eight. Left side, so bounce a left, left and right and tombe pade bure. Tondu back and curtsy and up and close. So this is just meant to be a fun combination. I don't want to spend too much time talking about the technicality of it. It is two slow walks, first arm, second arm, and then you do your four faster walks with your arm in second, right side first, so balance a right, balance a left, and tombe pas de to the right, fifth, tendu back, curtsy or the men's bow, which is first position, bending from the hips, all right? And same thing, one, two, three, four, walk, 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 left side, so balance, say left, left and right and tombe pas de bure, tendu back and curtsy or men's bow, tendu and close, and that's it.
Let's just get straight into it, everyone. Congratulations on making it to the very end. Six and a seven and eight. Slow walk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, Tombe pare bure, tendu back, plie, open, close. Slow walk, four, two, slow walk, four, two, faster. One, two, three, four, one, two, tombe pare bure. Tendu back, bow, up, close. That's it, everyone.